Turning now from China's economy to a tale of tragic loss, hitting us all here in and around the Hart region. Now, sources with direct knowledge of the matter confirm Reuters is losing a key member of its editorial brain trust. We're talking about Jonathan Hoffner, who is leaving the firm. Known for his extensive repertoire of business metaphors, quite a few of them involving cats, and also an openness to short sleeve dress shirts rare in Hong Kong, Hoffner is reportedly crossing over to the dark side. Let's take a quick look at Thomson Reuters shares. You can see they're up actually quite significantly from a June low, around 10%. Though correlation does not equal causation, as the detailed and facts fixated man would keenly point out. Tributes to the news editor here already flowing in. This slug in iNews calling the Canadian man a, quote, candle in the wind. While in CMS, the back end there, you can see this China trade data slug has been replaced with a single stoic frowny face. I'm being told we've got a live feed now from Hoffner, who's actually delivering a prepared statement at the moment. Let's listen in. For all those watching the situation unfold, it is a time of discomfort and concern. But it is our responsibility to move peacefully forward without clinging to the past, a lesson all involved should take to heart. Words of wisdom there from the Wan Chai prophet. Now you can see he's clearly in his element there. Let's get to Sarah Charlton now, who has been a longtime Hoffner watcher. Devastating news for us all, Sarah. That's right, John. The newsroom, as you can see here behind me, in a state of shock and disbelief. And here are three reasons why. I've just been handed a list of top quotes loosely attributed to Jonathan Hofner, also known by some as the Lynx Whisperer. Coming in at number three, Dan didn't like that package. No explanation necessary on that one. Coming in at number two, I tweaked your CMS slightly. John speak, as we all know, for your f***ing useless. And in at number one, my personal favorite, I fear new things on why he uses the old Reuters messaging system. No fear, though, of apparently co-founding a company in Hong Kong while trying to pay his rent on time. John, that's all from me. Back to you. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah Charlton there with that soul-crushing report. Now, I'm actually hearing we also have Tara Joseph, Hofner's now former supervisor, if he could ever actually be supervised, coming to us live from Hong Kong's Central Business District. Tara? Braised broccoli, penne pasta, maybe a little marinated couscous salad. A little tribute to Jonathan Hoffner down here at Simply Life in Central. It may sound trivial, but Simply Life is losing one of its most faithful customers in John Hoffner, who will be moving to a new office in Wan Chai. It may sound trivial, but it's yet another hole his absence will create. Tara Joseph there from Hoffner's former stomping grounds, where I guess letting go is simply life. Well, that's all we have time for on this report, but I do want to say, John, if you are out there somewhere listening, perhaps leaning against a suit-covered waste bin on Lockhart Road, an empty San Miguel bottle rolling at your feet, your eyes bleary with exhaustion, we've all had a great experience working with you. Now, your contributions and that sense of humor, if you can call it that, will be sorely missed. Best of luck with your next adventure, and when you do make it rich, make sure some of that champagne showers drizzles a little this way. John Gordon in Hong Kong, memorializing John Hoffner, who is now dead to us all. Hoi Ting, John, Annyeong. John is going to miss you. Good luck. See you there. Okay, hey John, uh, heard you were leaving. We wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful career wherever you go. Thanks for all the memories and all the story edits. You made our stories look good. Take care. Bye, John. Hey, John. Welcome. Bye-bye.